The Surgeon's Loop Knot or the Double Surgeon's Loop. Hello everybody, welcome back. And today's little knot is really, really simple, really, really easy. And it's the Surgeon's Loop Knot. And basically, it's just a double overhand knot to create a loop on the end of a line here. And the idea is that it's often used by fishermen as a fixed loop. And from what I understand is that the fixed loop allows a lure or a fly to jiggle about naturally on here jiggle about and Mr Fishy comes along and thinks it's real and bites it and is obviously hooked up anyway but hang on if you're a fisherman and you know better please do leave me a comment down below and tell me more about this particular knot and where it's used. But any information I find out on this knot will also be in the description down below. And the other thing about this particular knot is that, from what I understand, is you can have it as a bend. So in other words, we've got the surgeon's loop knot there, the surgeon's loop knot there, and it's joined in the middle, similar to how you would join two loops. Um, and I, what I'll do is at the end of the video, I will show you how to join your two bits, or in our case, our two bits of rope together to form a bend out of the two surgeon's loop knots. So anyway, without further ado, let's get on and let's tie the surgeon's loop knot. Right, so to tie this loop is very, very simple. This is probably one of the simplest loops that you can tie. And from what I understand as well, is that it is really, really strong. It holds, holds its strength well, even though it's got a knot tied in it. So as you can see here, there's my working end in my right hand and my standing end going off to the left. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull a fair bit of cordage through and form a bite in my rope like so. And the thing to remember with this one is it's a little bit cord hungry, so you do need a fair amount coming through. Now that I've done that, the next thing I do is I bring my bite round and pass it over the top and form a loop at that point there. Once I form that loop, the next thing I do is I pass the bite underneath through that loop. So it's going underneath through that loop and coming out. And I'm gonna pull just a little bit more through. And then now that I've done that, there's my loop, come, my, the bite that we started off with. I'm gonna bring it round, take it underneath, and bring it up through that loop that we've created there for a second time, and then all we do is pull. And that's it, nice, quick, simple. And then just dress it up. The problem, one problem with this knot is that it is slightly bulky, but it is secure. And then once it's dressed up, there we go, we now have a lovely fixed loop in the end of our line. And so I can't see, I don't see why this couldn't be used for rope work, etc. The only thing I would probably say with this one is, having messed about with it a little bit, it is rather difficult to undo once there's been quite a strain on it. So I think this is more of a permanent loop as opposed to a loop that can, can quickly be undone as such. So anyway, let's get on now and show you how to join these two loops together to form our bend. Right, so there we have it. I have now got two in number surgeon's loops and if we want to join them together, all I need to do is as follows. Just choose one side or the other. It doesn't matter which one. And I'm gonna, in this case, I'm gonna choose the yellow one. And what I'm gonna do is pass the loop of the yellow one up through the loop of the red one. The next thing that you need to do is take the work, the, sorry, the standing end of the yellow one and pass it up through that loop and take all your cordage through. And normally you don't have a long length of cordage like this. Pull it through and so that the loop is now coming over itself. Allow it to come underneath and to the red one. And you can see now here, we've now got ourselves a nice little join in the middle here. And that's not gonna come undone. This 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 particular setup just isn't gonna come undone. There's no way it can jiggle free or anything like that. And that's basically how you join two surgeons loops together, I suppose, to create a bend. Anyway, once again, 
thanks very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, give me one of these. If you hated it, you know, but do leave me a comment and tell me why, you know, and let's have a bit of banter online. So I'll see you again next time. Take care then. Bye-bye.